Good afternoon everyone. My name is Pravin Pawar and we are looking towards the biological neurons and its structure in the soft computing techniques. In this biological neuron its structure we are specifically looking in towards the biological structure of the neurons which are the part of the human body which consists of the specifically five parts one is nothing but the dendrites, soma, exon and synapse. These are the parts of the biological neuron which are providing the information from one point to the another point and it is going to be generating some kind of a output. So that's why it is known as the neurons. Now the neuron are also called as the nerve cells, basic working unit of the brain, specialized cell responsible and sending and receiving the signals from the brain. So specifically these are the parts of the human brain which are specifically used to collect the data to process the data and after doing some amount of the generation of the outputs and then send it towards the other nervous systems or which are connected to that particular nervous systems. So that is the part of the biological neurons. In this we are going to be struck, we are going to be defining the different different parts of the structure of the biological neuron. The first one is nothing but the dendrites. And according to the soft computing, we can call it as the input part of the machines. It receives the signal from the other nervous. So again, if we are attaching any kind of a mic or if we are attaching any kind of a keyboard or the uh, specifically mouse towards that computer, then obviously we are going to be providing some amount of the input into that particular structure. The second one is nothing but the soma cell body or in the, the soft computing, we can call it as the processing width. That is, what is the part it is going to be doing the processing. So, sum up all of the inputs in input signals, it also consists of threshold unit. Now, whatever the data we are collecting and if we are doing the summation of that particular data and finally, on the dependent of the precise values, if we are generating some kind of output, then that is the process which is done it with the help of the SOMA cell or we can in a soft computing we can call it as the CPUs. This is the CPU is the process we are providing the multiple amount of the data and finally according to the CPU capacity it is going to be generating the output or the synapse. Synapse is nothing but the weighted connection which is how much amount of the data we are transporting and how much amount of the time it is required for the transmission of the data which has been considered with the help of the weighted connection in the soft computing. So these are the points which are connected to each other and which are using the signals to transmit the dependent upon the strength of that particular connection. That strength of that connection is also known as the synaptic weights. Okay. Connection can be inhibitory that is nothing but the decreasing the strength of that particular things or the excitatory that is the increasing the strength of that particular nature. So if we required how much amount of the bulb we are glowing if it is having the 50 watts, then we require that much amount of the inhibitory. That means we are increasing the strength of the light. If we require the 10 volt bulb, then obviously we are going to be using the excitatory. That is nothing but we are decreasing the strength of that particular light. Okay. Now the next one is nothing but the exons. When that is also near, finally we are generating some amount of the output in the soft computing. It is known as the output. And in a biological neuron, it will be known as the exon. When the sum re when the sum reaches the threshold value, neuron fires the generate uh, the output signals and it travels down towards the other neuron. So the, this exon are the part of the communication between the two devices. So if we are sending any kind of a output or the output is generated by the computer or the CPU, we require the output to be transferred towards the user so that he can easily understand this is the output of that particular processing. So that is the structure of the biological neuron. This is the symbolical structure of the biological neuron where we are having N1, N2, N, N. These are nothing but the input values. In the middle, we are having the cell body which is doing the summation and the threshold functioning to generate the output. And the exon is to provide the finally showing the output of that particular processing. The types of the biological neuron, one is nothing but the sensory neurons, motor neurons and the interneurons. Artificial neurons and the models. An artificial neuron is the mathematical function based on the model 
and the biological neurons. The artificial neuron receive one or more input and sum them to the product or the produce an output. Each input is separately weighted and the sum is passed through the non-linear function known as the activation functions. Okay, so this is the mathematical final uh, design of that particular which we are going to be using into our algorithms to find out any kind of output through the neural network. We again the same thing, x1 are nothing but inputs, w are nothing but the weighted values, the middle part, the processing part is nothing but the summation and we are using the activation to use the threshold what is the final output and finally we are generating the output of that particular processing. Okay. Model of the neural has the five components input, then that is the whatever the input we are going to be providing. Synapse is nothing but the weighted connection, W is nothing but the weighted connection. The summation is nothing but the how much amount of the inputs we are having and we are combining them that is known as the summation. Activation function to whether to activate to send the output or not and finally after doing the activation function it is going to be generating the output layer. Activation function in the neuron is the activation function is the mathematical function which determines the output of the neural network and the activation function is also should be fired or not fired. It has been the decision taken by that particular activation function. Thank you.